The Federal Aviation Administration has issued more than a million dollars in fines to unruly passengers this year. Everything from not wearing face masks to flyers assaulting flight attendants. Earlier this month, the passenger aboard a Frontier Airlines flight was accused of inappropriately touching two female flight attendants and punching another. In order to subdue him, crew members had to tape the man to his seat. While this is an extreme scenario, the FAA is strictly enforcing a zero tolerance policy on this. But is there more that can be done? Joining us live this morning, senior aviation business reporter from the Points Guy, David Slotnick. Great to see you, David. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. So there's been a huge uptick in incidents like this, David. What's causing all of this? It's really a multitude of factors. Um, there are a few things that people have pointed to. One of the big ones is the mask mandate, the federal mask mandate. Um, not necessarily people who are unwilling to wear the masks, but it just creates another source of tension when flight attendants are, you know, reminding passengers about another thing. It's your seat belts, your tray tables, your seat backs, and your mask. So, you know, that opens the door for just another point of confrontation. But beyond that, it's a few things. It's, um, you know, general stress levels are just really high these days. General anxiety, people are stressed over the pandemic. Uh, people haven't traveled in a long time. Uh, some people are going out for their first vacation of the pandemic and are sort of in a let loose kind of like party mode. Um, and that's created a problem. A lot of these incidents have obviously, or seemingly obviously involved alcohol and intoxication. So that's been part of it too. Um, it, it's really just a, a range of things. And a lot of these airlines have taken action when it comes to alcohol. They've banned alcohol on flights. Some of them now welcoming it back on flights, but American Airlines just extended that ban through January. Were you surprised at all that they took that kind of step? Not particularly. Um, I think that they're really just trying to be cognizant of the situation and what's been going on lately. Um, originally, they said that their, that their alcohol suspension would last until the mask mandate lifts. Um, and as you may know, the mask mandate was extended just this week until January 18th. So American basically just extended their suspension to match it. Now, some of these airlines that are banning alcohol, it's for coach only does not apply to first right. class passengers. I thought that was interesting because I thought when you have more money, you have more problems. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, I'm not exactly sure what the reasoning is, but if you have to guess, it's, yeah. you know, they want to make first class appealing and they want to keep the sort of value proposition there so people keep buying it. Yeah, of course. Um, talk to us about maybe some of the things that people can do to I guess alleviate some of these problems, some of the things that the airlines can do to alleviate these problems. Sure. So the FAA has had the zero tolerance policy, and that's, you know, a big part of it. They've been publicizing these fines as widely as they can, and obviously we're helping with that right now. Uh, just trying to let people know that this isn't acceptable behavior. Uh, there's been talk about criminal prosecutions ramping up. Uh, a lot of these fines are, you know, civil penalties, but we're talking about actual jail time for people who, wow. you know, do the more extreme things. Um, a flight attendants have been assaulted um, you get multiple times. Um, in addition to that, airports are being asked to sort of cut back on to-go alcohol sales so people can't like just keep drinking through the airport and bring right. on the plane and everything. So that's a big one. You know, David, I myself haven't been on a flight since February of 2020. A lot of people hesitant to fly and then they hear stories like this and it just makes them not want to fly even more. Have you flown recently? What was your experience like? I know there's not a ton of these incidents happening. When you look at the actual breakdown of it, it's a small number, but they are making a lot of headlines. Yeah, so, you know, I've been flying pretty often since the, since uh, I got my vaccine. Um, really, I haven't seen any. I saw mm. one case where somebody wouldn't wear his mask and the flight attendant just kept reminding him and he put it on and eventually just left it on. Um, overall, we're talking about 3,900 incidents and that's out of 1.2, you know, 2 million people who are flying every day. Uh, so overall, the number is very low. It's just a big uptick from previous years. We did see a lot of flights happening, particularly in June and July. A lot of people had been vaccinated. The numbers seem pretty low in a lot of parts of the country. Now that we've seen numbers rise again, do you think this is going to affect the airline industry when it comes to people booking those flights? Well, I mean, demand has been basically unprecedented for the airlines. They just had no idea that it was going to be this high this fast. Um, so I think we are going to see that, and especially as things continue reopening in the fall, you know, different countries, different continents, different regions. Um, people really want to get back out there and travel. I want to ask you one thing, too, because we're, we're seeing all these these footages from people bringing their phones out. Should you yeah. encounter this problem on an airplane, 
should you bring your phone out and film it? What do you do after that? Should you not film it? Like, what are the things that you want to do if this happens, you know, on a flight that you take? Yeah, I mean, the best thing to do if this happens, honestly, in terms of filming it, you know, I'm a journalist, so I'm biased here. I probably yeah, yeah. Would. <laughs> um, but, you know, the best thing to do is basically just stay in your seat and listen to the flight crew's instructions. You know, there have been incidents where they've actually called and asked for help. Yeah. Um, you know, the pilot that comes on the loudspeaker and makes an announcement. So if that happens and you want to help, go help. Um, you know, otherwise, if they say everybody stay seated, then stay seated, just stay out of the way and just yeah. don't make the situation worse. David Slotnick from the Point Sky. We appreciate your insight this morning. Thanks for being with us. Thanks a lot.